Well, hey friends, Karis here, author of Anxiety Elephants for Tween Boys and Tween Girls. Thank you guys for joining in. We are on day 27. I'm so glad uh, just to be on this journey with you and share with you. I was thinking, you know, we've been on this journey for a little while. Some of you have reached out and shared some things with me and you've heard little bits of my story. You've read some things about me uh, throughout the devotional that I share with you from my own childhood. I've shared with you that I have a twin brother. Uh, about my fears of roller coasters as a kid, but I was trying to think if there's anything else that you might want to know about me. So um, just some fun facts about me. My favorite animal is not an elephant. Uh, it is a koala bear. I love, I love them. I love koala bears. I hear they're mean. Do you guys know? If you know, feel free to comment below. Um, it is a dream of mine to go to Australia one day and hold a koala bear. Maybe a baby koala bear would be better for that. Um, that's my favorite animal. My favorite food, my kids would probably tell you chicken because I make chicken all the time. I do love chicken, but my most favorite food really and truly is pizza. I love pizza or um, chicken fettuccine Alfredo. That's really good. Or my mom's chicken and dumplings. Those are the best. Do y'all have a favorite food that your mom makes? Uh, my favorite color is yellow. I love the color yellow. And I have two kids. I have two daughters. And we have a doggy. His name is Cooper Hash Brown. He's down here beside me asleep right now. He's a little mini golden doodle. Um, and let's see. And my husband and I, you are watching this in May. So we've been married 18 years. Um, and I graduated from college. I went to the University of Alabama. Uh, that is not why I wrote a book about elephants, by the way, even though our mascot is Big Al, who is an elephant. Um, but I graduated with a child development degree. So those were little, little things about me. I wish that I would have thought to share those things at the beginning, but I guess better late than never, right? So I would love, if you haven't shared information uh, about you, I would love to get to know you. And uh, what is your favorite color and your favorite animal? Feel free to comment below on the video and let me know that. So we are on day 27. Uh, make sure if you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe. There's only after this three days left. So you don't want to miss out on that or on other videos that are to come. Find me on Instagram, Facebook at Kara Snyder and on TikTok at Kara underscore Snyder. Okay, so here we are. We're on day 27. Guys, hang in there. Keep going. 90-day devotional. This is going to catapult you into the rest of the devotional. So our verse today is Isaiah 41, 10. And it says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So we are we're back to talking about fear. And remember, we revisit a lot of things in the devotional because that's what anxiety does. It will use the same thing over and over and over again to attack your mind. So we revisit things on purpose to equip you, to help you to continue to fight back. So eventually uh, what those anxiety elephants use does not get to take control of you anymore, but you take control of it. So this day, as you read it, it's going to ask you an inter interesting question. And the question is, where have anxiety elephants taken your mind in fear? It can take you to some pretty scary places, right? And it can be where you may not know what to do. And that's the next question. How do you stand your ground when fear comes? Because our scripture tells us that we don't have to fear that God is upholding us with his righteous right hand. So when anxiety elephants try to take your mind to fearful places, what are some things you can do? Well, there are um, three things here that you're going to read today about what you can do. But I want to focus on the first one with you through the video. And that is to speak God's word out loud and remind your fear who your God is. So I want to ask you, have you ever done that? Have you ever said out loud some Bible verses that you know when you feel afraid? And parents, feel free to answer this as well and be honest with your kids. This is not a, a if you haven't, it's not a bad thing. It's just that you, maybe you never knew that you could do that. Maybe you never knew that, that was something that you can do. Um, and so our scripture today definitely is one that you can use to memorize to begin to do that. But when you say it out loud, 
So you got to remember that God's word is living and active. It's living and active. And that's actually a scripture that you're going to read later on in the devotional, but it's living and it's active and God is looking to perform it. Now you don't have to say it out loud uh, for God to look about and see that you're leaning on his word. You can think it in your heart, but there is some power behind saying it out loud because it is saying out loud to your enemy. Hey, I don't have to be afraid of you because this is what God's word said. And God's word is living and it's true and it is active and it is uh, protecting me. So when you say God's word out loud, it kind of invigorates, which is a word that means uh, empowers, strengthens your spirit to remind you that you don't have to be afraid. Um, And some easy ways to do that is, first of all, to memorize scripture. So when you're memorizing scripture, that means you're learning it and that you can call it just like that. You can call it to memory just like that. Um, So this is a good one that you can use, Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So you can say that scripture out loud. You could say Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. 2 Timothy 1, 7, uh, that we don't have a spirit of uh, fear, but one of power and love and a sound mind. Uh, 1 Peter 5, 7, I'm going to cast all my anxiety on him because he says to for, for me to do that. Those are some that you can use. Philippians 4, 6 is another one that you can learn. Uh, Philippians 4, 8, to think on what is true, holy, lovely, pure, excellent, praiseworthy. You can flip through your book like I am I'm flipping through right now some other scriptures that you could say out loud. Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Psalms 91, 11, for God has commanded his angels to watch over me, to guard and protect me, to keep me in all my ways. What are some other ones? Psalms 34, 18, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And then you can even use our very, uh, this was one of the first, well, these first two that we had, the days one and two, John 1, 5, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. So when you memorize scripture, See, I bet even as you heard those out loud, it made you feel kind of like you could hold your shoulders back and you're like, yeah, This is what God's word says about me. I can do this. I can walk through this. I can defeat these anxiety elephants because he's with me and I don't have to be afraid. So I want to challenge you to write down today's scripture verse, Isaiah 41, 10, and I want you to memorize it. Uh, Maybe you can memorize this as a family. Put it where you can see it. So maybe put one in your bathroom, put one on your refrigerator and put one in your car. So you can see it and maybe you decide, you guys can decide together how many days do you want to give yourselves to memorize this scripture. And then the next time anxiety elephants or fear tries to come in and take over, you're going to say, no, fear not for God is with me. Be not dismayed for he will strengthen me. He will comfort me. He will uphold me with his righteous right hand. And it's giving you the power over those anxiety elephants. When you can memorize and say scripture out loud. All right, let's say our prayer. Thank you, God, that I have nothing to fear with you on my side. Thank you for strengthening me to crush these anxiety elephants today. They no longer have power over me. Thanks guys for listening and I'll talk to you tomorrow.